Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, and uh, this is it. My first look into Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One X. Um, so, without any further delay, let's jump right into this. This will be a 20-minute video recorded in QHD. I'm going to talk about a bunch of different things. I'm also going to uh, give you my game mode picture settings that I always use. And these picture settings I'm going to show you, they really work well on TCL R617. So without any further delay, let's go ahead. Let's boot up the game. Let's start. Let's do this. All right, so before you start the game, it's going to ask you what type of graphics would you like to use. Would you like to use a high resolution rendering mode, which is a dynamic resolution that goes up to 2016, uh, 16, 2016p, meaning 2016. It's not 2160, uh, okay? It's not 3840 by 2160. It's a 2016p that's then upscaled to 4K, but that's a pretty good rendering resolution that's almost near native 4k okay you're looking at you know 3840 by 2016 and that's a pretty darn good resolution that's almost near 4k almost near native 4k okay so when you switch to high resolution you're gonna get 3840 by 2016 okay not 2160 okay 2016 all right and then you will also have 30 frames per second that's okay pc version runs 30 frames per second anyway with directx 12 so i just want to keep that in check for you guys so that way you understand what's going on hdr is enabled remember how i talked about this hdr lumens and hdr brightness um the best thing to do is keep these two equal, all right? Remember how I said to you, make sure that they're both equal. They have to be equal. Your Azure Lumens, it's your, you know, peak brightness. Remember, you already have backlit. Hold on, this is my exposure light. Remember, you already have backlit on this television set to maximum, and you already have contrast set to maximum, and you already have brightness set at 50. There is really no reason whatsoever for you to mess around with the white bright levels and black digital levels. Leave them balanced. If you're going to listen to me, now is the time to listen to me. If you move that HDR white bright levels higher, then you won't be able to see that detail on the white bright levels. If you move the brightness down to a lower level, you will not be able to see any bright, uh, dark digital levels at all if you do that. Now, this is my exposure on the camera. Don't let this stuff fool you. What you're seeing here on this camera, it's nothing. I'm not doing this video to show you, hey, look, this is how it looks. I'm doing this video to give you my commentary and to give you my thoughts and to give you my picture settings that I use. Okay, this video is not uh, some bourgeois, you know, here it is, a uh, uh, holy grail. This is how it looks. Okay, there's no way in hell that you can see HDR through this camera. There's no way in hell that you can see what I'm seeing with my own two eyes through this camera. I don't do these videos for that. That should be clear. Now, let's move on to the game. Remember, these two has to be set alone. Do not touch this. Okay. Leave the gamma correction, leave the brightness, leave all that stuff the way it is. Leave it in the middle, okay? Now, an another thing you want to do is you want to enable HDR. So make sure, hold on, make sure, make sure that you turn HDR on. On this game, you have to turn the HDR on, but once you turn it on, and once the HDR, it's turned on, 
the game will remember it, okay? You don't have to turn it uh, back on and off again. But I like the, the feature. I like the fact that they give you the feature to turn it off or on. So you have that ability, okay? So the HDR is on. Keep those two like they are, like this. Keep the, uh, the brightness and HDR lumens. Keep it in the middle, okay? Keep it in the middle. This is the exposure that's coming that that, that camera is collecting, okay? That's what you're seeing. So make sure that your brightness, it's middle, and your HDR lumens, it's middle. You never touch this. You leave this alone. I'm going to only say this one more time. You never mess around with this. You leave this alone, if you want my advice. Now, let's go check out the game, shall we? All right, let's start the new game. We'll keep it at the normal uh, settings. Here we go. The HDR is turned on. There it is. I will show you the picture settings later on after we do some gameplay here. Okay? Remember, I also have the PC version, so I know exactly the difference between the PC and the Xbox One X. And the differences are like night and day. Uh, PC version blows away the Xbox One X version. That's just the way it is. The DirectX 12 blows away the Xbox One X version. Uh, if you don't want to hear this fact, well, that's too bad. That's the truth. You know, you'll just have to deal with that. But what the Xbox One X is doing here, it's pretty darn awesome for a console that's $500. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. Here we go. This is the beginning of the game. Looks very impressive so far from what I'm seeing, you know. I'm waiting for the part when she crashes and then when she starts lighting up the fire inside the cave or when she uses her walkie-talkie. That's the part I want to see right here. This is the part I want to see how it looks. Oh, this is two days earlier. I'm sorry. Two days earlier. But anyway... Not bad, man. This is not bad at all for an Xbox One X, man. This is actually pretty darn good. This is like... I would say this is DirectX 11 with high settings on PC. With resolution, that's dynamic resolution, 3840 by 2016. Uh, with HDR. This is pretty darn good for, for a console. Okay, so what I'm seeing here... And the reason I can tell you this is because I already have the PC version. I already have DirectX 12 and DirectX 11. And uh, there are differences between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 due to a higher tessellation, higher uh, shadow resolution. 
Of, of course, volumetric light, but uh, this is, so far, I'm impressed. I am impressed what I'm seeing here. This is pretty darn good. You know, AGR really helps here. This is still impressive, you know, that uh, that we have a console that can actually do something like this, guys. And remember, uh, this is a $500 console versus a PC that's uh, $2,000, $3,000. Uh, granted, PC can do ray tracing, uh, more advanced ray tracing with the RTX and DirectX 12, but uh, I think consoles are slowly getting there. What I want to say is this, I think consoles are slowly getting there. And I like this, man. I like what I'm seeing here. This is really good. The consoles are really getting there slowly, guys. They are slowly approaching, uh, as I would like to call, slowly approaching that photorealism. We have seen that photorealism with a spider-man now we're seeing it here with a uh, shadow of the tomb raider i think next generation of consoles will see that photorealistic uh realism on the consoles consoles are really getting close uh to like almost be in par with the pc almost they're getting there and this is pretty amazing that you're playing this on a console on a console that's 500 bucks that's pretty amazing. Yes, the PC version is the ultimate version, but it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more money. Here, for 500 bucks, you're getting uh, kind of a same experience, <clears throat> just with a little bit less downgrade. But it's still amazing. It's still amazing. It looks great. Uh... <clears throat> like I said, very impressive so far. So this is my first impression video, obviously my next video is going to be Sony X900E impression and then after that I'm going to do a comparison between the PC version and the Xbox One X version and just the difference between DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 stuff like that. So. Uh... This is pretty awesome, dude. Like I said, I'm I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing here. Now, Digital Foundry did a great job pointing out some of these differences here. Maybe I can move my low light a little bit and bring the camera a little bit closer for you guys. Here, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, you know, DirectX 12 enhances certain uh, level of detail. When you look at it from, from up close, you will notice certain things. You will notice the shadows are being more presented with more fidelity. You will notice more of smoothness on uh, anti-aliasing. You know, there's especially an ambient inclusion, you will see um, much better volumetric light. You know, these things, these are the things that only somebody like Digital Foundry or NVIDIA or me will notice these things. Uh, regular Joe and regular Mary are really going to have a hard time depicting that difference because they don't know what to look for. So when it comes to like geeking out on this technical aspect, regular Joes and regular Marys, they will not see that difference but bottom line is this what the xbox one x is doing here it's very impressive it's very impressive i said it digital foundry said it and everybody else seems to agree oh oh 
come on, it's not good. Now's not the time to be falling down. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna skip through this because I only got like maybe uh, six minutes left. All right, here we go. Oh, this looks amazing, man. Look at that HDR. It's just amazing. Oh, HDR here. This has got to be one of the best HDR. I know I said Spider-Man, and I still consider Spider-Man one of the best HDR, but I would say this is like in par with Spider-Man in, in terms of like HDR. This is really good, man. I'm on my way in. Almost there. Sorry, I didn't wait. Be careful. Very impressive. You know, um, I got to tell you, man, I'm really impressed with the Xbox One X and what Xbox One X is able to do for 500 bucks, man. Uh, I mean, really, dude. I mean, if, 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 if you're hurting for money and you can't afford a PC, dude, forget the PC. Get yourself an Xbox One X and you're really going to enjoy these games in, in 4K and HDR and in a really awesome graphical quality man you really can't go wrong with the xbox one x this holiday season i'm telling you dude there's tons and tons of 4k hdr games games like this then you here's the deal you purchase this tv that's 600 dollars, and you add another 500 dollars for uh, xbox one x for 1100 dollars, you can have a package deal of 4k gaming hdr console with 4k built-in blu-ray player and Roku built-in 4K Dolby Vision HDR format television, man. You really can't go wrong with this package deal. If you want to jump into 4K, get yourself a Xbox One X and TCL R617. And you will not be disappointed. As you all know, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm just telling you what's the logical sense here to do. HDR, it's really mind blowing here, dude. Look at this HDR. Nice. Man, I'm driving out. I'd still be in there taking pictures. Still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. Now they're gonna go to that cafe. When they when they go to that cafe, that's where all the lights and everything starts to show off the HDR in a big way. And you're going to see it right now. And this looks really nice, man. Here is where you're going to see that HDR pop big time. If you got a really good 4K TV, you're truly going to appreciate HDR right here. Okay, so while, while this is happening, let's talk about my settings here. As you all know, I prefer to use normal HDR and normal TV brightness. The reason being is because you already have backlit and contrast set to maximum. There's no reason for you to overbright your white digital bright levels. Remember, we're trying to avoid uh, any sacrifice in the picture quality. We want to have a balanced picture quality. This is what the professional calibrators are looking for. They're looking for a balance. So keep normal on HDR mode and keep normal on TV brightness. Move down to the advanced picture settings. Your local dimming should always be set to high. Keep your local 
contrast dimming set to high. It's the constellation this always stays like this. this Backlit 100, brightness 50, contrast 100. Sharpness, keep it at 20. Brazil. Color, keep it at 50. Color temperature, keep it at normal. Date from the ruins. And of course, turn the game mode on. Make sure that your game mode is turned on. And it works great. Works awesome. But please do take these settings. Please do write these settings down. Try them out. That's why I show you this. I'm showing you this so you can go ahead and experience it yourself. Get those settings. Write it down. Get a pen with a paper or a pencil with a paper and write it down and, and use it with this TV. This only works with this TV. Okay, guys? Due to technology that's built inside this TV. You cannot use these settings with the other TVs. It has to be this one. This is only for the owners of TCL R617. If you don't have the TCL R617, you can't use those settings. <clears throat> All right, so the next uh, video is going to be Sony X900E. I'm going to check Sony X900E. And after I check Sony X900E, then we're going to do a comparison between PC version and the Xbox One X version. And then later on, we're going to do a live stream of a PC version on QHD resolution with DirectX 12. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. And uh, like I said, the Xbox One X version looks amazing on TCL R617. Thank you for watching, guys.